Wonderful. Uh, I'm very pleased to introduce this year's third student speaker for Cognitive Science. Uh, Akash Pugam is a Cognitive Science major interested in psychedelics, dogs, and consciousness. <laughs> approach towards understanding canine olfaction, which is, I think, dog's sense of smell. I'm an economist, but I think I got that. Uh, which he plans to continue developing in graduate school. Akash grew up in India and will be working with his family over the next year or two on two nonprofits related to children and animals. Akash. <laughs> What a time to be alive. <laughs> Humanity is hyper-connected. The trees growing around us in the Berkeley Hills are talking to each other through these branching filaments called hyphae that form this interconnected network of mycelia, the wood wide web. Humans have finally caught up. Yet despite the digital mycelia that spawned out of our Silicon Valleys, connecting us to each other like never before, we have grown further apart. We live in these silos, runaway echo chambers, designed by our peers in Wheeler Hall. And the effects are all around to see. The illusion of a peaceful post-Cold War order has evaporated in the flames of the Russian gas the world burned to propel the ego dominator of capitalism forward. And these flames are choking us. Researchers here at Berkeley Earth say that breathing the air of New Delhi, a city I will land in in two days, is equal to smoking a full pack of cigarettes every day. And all this is happening while AI is becoming singularly capable. What a timeline indeed. <laughs> and what a timeline to be graduating from UC Berkeley with a degree in cognitive science. <laughs> Despite everything going on in the world, I feel hopeful for the future. And a big reason why is an insight I have found and honed these past four years at Cal. It began my freshman semester when I took David Presti's Drugs in the Brain. I discovered that we are amidst a tremendous resurgence of a class of compounds called psychedelics. A couple of sessions with psilocybin, a molecule found in over 200 species of mushrooms, and people heal from a Pandora's box of ailments, like PTSD, that modern medicine had no treatment for. And the key, the key is this, this knowledge that the natural world harbored powerful healing properties was and is present in indigenous communities around the world. The Ohlone, who's Land we now stand on did not need satellites and ML models to prevent the fires California faces today. What we need to do is to simply relearn how to listen, to tune in to each other and our beautiful planet to build bridges between all the cognitive islands and echo chambers and meaning abysses we found, we dug ourselves into. To illuminate like the Campanile in the fog of war. To remember that while we may never know what truth with a capital T is, truth with a small t lives amongst us. And no matter what those in power say or do, we can live with conviction in this truth.
A psychedelic journey doesn't heal just by the action of the compounds in our skulls. It is dependent on the set and setting, the physical space and mental state. We're all collectively in this fever dream, this pandemic psychedelic trip, from which we will emerge completely changed, paradigm shifted. But it depends on our set and setting to how we end up. As students of cognitive science infused with an interdisciplinarity that knows few limits or boundaries, we are in a position to set the set and setting, to push the frontiers, to shake things up, to dream, manifest, and build a brighter, more equal, flourishing future. I'm incredibly excited for all of us. I'll end with the phrase my dad likes to sagely quote. You need two things in life, strong winds and deep roots. May all of our wings strongly propel us into the horizon and may our roots connect us deeply to our ancestral past. Thank you.